you sat down. You said yesterday was the 17th anniversary of your oh. Super Bowl championship yeah. in Tampa. And this weekend could be one of the greatest weekends in the, the lifetime of John Lynch, where he mm. hears his name for the hall on Saturday. And then on Sunday gets to hoist the Lombardi Trophy as the general manager. And you know what? You always put it in, in great terms. I didn't even think about that. Is that right? I didn't even think about that. I mean, you, you never even think about that being back to back. And then it's Groundhog Day for the Super Bowl. So, like when I went into the hall, it was Groundhog Day. So Is that right? We can replay it every day. I, I, I get in that movie and go through. I Groundhog got you, babe. Oh yeah. <laughs> hit, I got you, babe. It's like it. <laughs> You hit the snooze button? Yes. So uh, I give you the floor. Pound the table for John Lynch for any of the Pro Football Hall of Fame selectors that are out there, including those that have passed on him for six years in a row now. This will be his seventh year. He's, he's the veteran of the, of the finalists, uh, waiting the longest of any of the finalists this weekend. What, why, why was Lynch Hall of Fame worthy to you? I say it in these terms because when it's personal for me, I just make it in easy terms for everybody to understand. Mm -hmm. Tampa 2 cannot be played in the new NFL. You can't command the middle of the field and dominate the middle of the field like we did with me, Brooks, and Lynch. Mm -hmm. And the Cowboys have their triplets. We have our triplets, me, Brooks, and Lynch. And since you can't play cover two anymore, and I'm a dinosaur, Brooks is a dinosaur, Lynch is also a dinosaur, where do dinosaurs belong? In the museum. And what is the <laughs> Hall of Fame? A museum. So can you put my dinosaur in the museum? You can't even have a safety hit like that anymore. Mm -hmm. you, I mean, a safety can't get in the box and dominate a football game like John Lynch, like Ronnie Lott, like all the great ones did, like Dawkins. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I love Dawkins to death. He's a Florida boy, but I'll take Lynch every day of the week and twice on Sunday. I mean, that's that's my guy. And you, Hey, ask Mark Tremere how it feels to be hit by Lynch. Ask, Aldridge. I mean, any of those tight ends in the league, we commanded the middle of the field. And if you wanted to come across, you had to pay a toll, get a pass, and get permission. And we still didn't like it. Now, you would always tell me that the, the Tampa 2, the Dungy defense, the Kiffin defense, was designed to send everything in Lynch's direction. Right to him. Walk me through that. What do you mean by Listen. that? I had B, Brooks had A, and we, we narrowed it, and we just call it the free man. And Lynch was our free man in the box. That's what you hear all the time now. The eighth man in the box, that's John Lynch. That's what it was because your eighth man in the box had to tackle like Christian Okoye and the big backs that we had, the Barry Sanders, Rashawn Salam in our division. I mean, Robert Smith, all these backs, mm -hmm. we fed them to Lynch. And Lynch used to devour them. I mean, no one wanted to see John Lynch in that hole. One time, Barry Sanders shook him, and we realized we had to squeeze the hole a little bit more. <laughs> we, we, we joke about that one. I mean, one time, sure. Lynch came up, and oh, my God, the hole was a little bit too well, big, he, and Barry Sanders did that, and whoo, well, it was one of those to, highlights. He did that to everybody. Yeah, I, I told Lynch, I said, don't worry, baby, you're on the list now with the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> and, it doesn't matter. And it, it, it's interesting. What similarities do you see in the way that Lynch, uh, now, obviously, some draft choices were used on defensive linemen before he got there, and he kept hitting that. He kept hitting that with first-round draft choices <laughs> after he got there, too. Listen. What similarities do you see in the way that the Niners have been built to your, to your Tampa It starts team? up front. Mm -hmm. And the front and the back end working together. Yes. And the middle is controlling traffic. That's the way we always did it. And I know they live by the rule, no excuses, no explanations. I mean, you will be held accountable to that unit and for that unit in that building like no other because it's a brotherhood of men. And I trust you're going to be that brother. And if you're not, you're going to answer to me before we ever get to that sideline. And they decoordinate as a nut. I had an opportunity when Solomon Thomas first got there to go in and kind of get with him a little bit. With Robert Sala? Oh, man. They had, they had the mixture of a great foundation, and they just kept doing the right things, and here they are. What do you mean by he's a nut, Warren? What do you mean? Oh, just a nut. You know, when <laughs> I, I, I was around Rob Ryan, I mean, Bob, uh, Rob Ryan for, yeah. for the four years in Oakland. Right. <laughs> and to be around a Ryan... That's the ultimate nut because he'll tell you, why do you blitz a thousand times? Because 999 times ain't enough. So when I got around the solid guy, he had just came from Jacksonville and he was trying to establish himself. And I wanted to see if he was consistent. And boy, is he consistent with his message, his, his preparation and how he brings it to him. But he's a nut. And you got to have a screw loose to be in this game. And he's got the right kind of screw loose. Lawrence Sapp here on the Rich Eisen Show. So who wins? What do you got for me? Who, who you wins? know what? I got a real dog in this bone, and it's, it's John Lynch. And right. I love that D-line, and I love the way they turn around hand the ball because the game is one in the trenches. Right. But that Mahomes and them speed bandits they got, and Andy Reid and 
Eric being in me, they, they, they thinking up something. They thinking up something, and we're going to get a good game. We're going to get one of those classics like we talk about, that right. all the rest of the Miamis, and let's just get ready because it's going to be a week of a whole bunch of talking, but somebody's got to play 60 minutes of football, and it's going to be fun. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.